Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a guide on how you can actually duplicate a Notion template and then connect it to a make.com account. So if you're not aware of it, so make.com is basically an automation tool that helps you to automate stuff that in your Notion. Like for example, you can use Notion to send email and other stuff. So I prepared this uh, template here. So it's mostly for my clients, but I figured that it might be worth it to just make a video that I can share with my clients and also to, for other users on the website as well. So this has six steps in total that I put it here. So first step is just to duplicate a template. So I've written down like a step-by-step -step guide at the bottom here. But since this is a video, so it's probably best I'll just show you the video. So first of all, you just create a template that you like to duplicate. And then for example, this is the template that I want to duplicate. Basically just at the top right, select duplicate. And then here you will need to log into your Notion account. So if you're new users, then you have to create an account. If you're like me, I already have an account, right? So I just select the workspace I want to use. So in this case, I want to select this workspace uh, called template. And then it's duplicating. So now you can see that I already have this version 4 here in my template workspace. So the next thing that I need to do is just go to setting and members. And then select integrations. And then select develop your own integrations. So what will happen here is that in order for you to share access to the automations, so make.com, so you need to create a what we call like a token. So for example, here like just put a name. So you can upload an image, so it's optional. And then select the workspace space that you want to share. And then select what is what the level of access the automation should have. So in this case, we need to have read access, update content, insert content. So it totally depends on your type of automation that you want to share. But normally when it comes to automation, because you want it to be able to read, you want it to be able to update this, the content in the database and also to insert new stuff. So these are the most basics access. And then for read comments and insert comments. So currently I don't think there's any support for that as well, at least in make.com. So this is just unchecked. And then this will be totally depends on what is the usage. So I don't think we need to read the user's email, so you can just click no user information, just click submit. So here is where you can get the secret token, so internal integration token. So just click show and then copy it. So I wouldn't show you show it here just for privacy purposes, but ideally you just want to show and then copy it. We can use it for the next step. Okay, moving on. So just now we have created duplicated the Notion template, and then we created Notion token. So the third step is just to share the Notion token to the duplicated template. So we can go back to our template now. We can go back to the website the template, and then just click share, and then just click add, and then select the token that you want. So in my case, I want to select this make shared with workspace. So this is the token that we created just now, and just click select, and then invite. So you can see that make has access to the whole template here, that's for the automations. So in the more specific scenarios, so in my case, right, I don't need to, it's the, the automation in this case, not for all the different database. So in this instance, only for this database that I have here. So I can just, I can, so I can actually just unshare this. I can just do, go to this student's database, right? And then just share the access to here. So share to web and then share to make.com. So the idea is just that we want to minimize the exposure that the automation can have. So in this case, can edit is sufficient access for this use case. And then for next step, let's just quickly go back and see. All right. So next step is just to create a make.com account. So if you're a new user, you can just click here and then you can just go and create your own account. So accept all cookies and then just get started for free and then just create your own account. So if you're like me, you already have an own account, then you can just skip this step. But let me just try to sign in for now. So you can actually just sign in with your Gmail account, which is pretty convenient. So we'll sign in with Google. Okay, now that I'm signed in, 
So the first thing that we need to do is just to click on create a new scenario. So basically the idea is that in this case, you should already have a duplicated scenario that you can copy from. So what we need to do is that I'll just go back to the, to the user menu. And then I'll just go to here. And then in this guide here, I actually already created this download blueprint.json. So basically you just need to click here and then you download it. Or otherwise, if you don't already have the scenario, so what you can do is that just click, select this more and then export blueprint. So this is how you can actually ask another users to help to share the blueprint for you. So in this case, since we already have the blueprint, right? So you can just click import and then choose file and then just select blueprint.json and then click save. So what will magically happen is that you just all the populates, all the scenarios, the coding has been done by another person. So in this case, which is me for my clients. So as you can see here, there are multiple databases here. So this is actually the, the second last step. What we need to do is that we need to connect all this Notion database or all this Notion module to our Notion database. Because currently make.com has no idea what is our Notion database. So in this case, let me just click one of this and then select add and then select connection type and then select notion internal so for this one i'll just select so my account is called robot and then <coughs> so once that's done you can see i've selected connection here and then all of this, right? So you just click OK here. And then you can just select from now on. And then for each of this database, so we can just click inside. And then select the correct database here. So in this case, it would be robot. And then all of this will be changed since we're using a new database, right? So it totally depends on what other database uh, selection for you. But ideally, if you only have one Notion module that you want, once you're connected, you can just click run once if not then you have to connect your database each part uh, step by step and then that should work 